On your side tonight with how pet owners confront the dilemma of inflation. It's no secret many of us consider pets part of our family, especially in a large pet friendly city like Charlotte. American society holds dogs in such high regard there are national competitions like last night's Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. The best in show winner is the Bloodhound. Yeah, millions of people watched as Trumpet the Bloodhound won Best in Show. Pets often bring us companionship and write unconditional love. But the ongoing crisis of inflation here in the U.S. has not escaped pet owners. People are having to pay more to feed and care for their four-legged friends. Pet food inflation in the U.S. hit a new high this year. Prices rose more than 9% in May 2022 compared to the same time last year. More money coming out of pet owners' wallets has forced many to consider some tough decisions. Some have even been forced to give up their pets because they financially just can't take care of them. Great television reporter Avery Gorman recently showed us the problem looks to be happening everywhere from large cities to smaller communities like Tyler, Texas. This year has been one of the worst years we've had yet uh, for, for people surrendering their dogs. SPCA of East Texas has seen an increase of surrenders to their rescue and they say that inflation of pet food could be to blame. They are currently over capacity at their rescue in Tyler and are having to turn away animals because of the lack of space. The little bit of kennel space that we do have is definitely come and gone. Um, we have animals stuck pretty much in every little nook and cranny we can find. Uh, I have one in my office, uh, as, as does everybody else in our organization. So, um, you know, I know that the other rescues in town are, are in the exact same position we're in. It has just been horrible this year. Well, and this growing problem happening here in Charlotte. The Charlotte Humane Society told us they have received 156 surrendered animals this month alone. That's well above normal. So how do we avoid this worst case scenario? Is there a solution for pet owners fighting to make ends meet? Today, our Caroline Hicks spoke with the Charlotte Humane Society for some answers. I know a big goal for the Humane Society is to give resources to these families who maybe are struggling to care for their pets, whether it be, you know, because of the rising prices of uh, pet food as well as care. Um, what are some of the different resources that you offer for families? The Humane Society has a very, very robust community outreach and pet crisis support program. So we really do, like you say, try and help try and help families in need keep their pets, especially when they're going through financial crisis. One of our big programs is our pet food bank, and we just distribute about 65,000 pounds of pet food a year to families in need. So that's a really big program, um, especially for those who have fallen on hard times. You know, a, a bag of food for a couple months can be something that can really, really just take some of the extra pressure off, right? Especially if you're thinking about feeding your family on top of feeding your pet. And it sounds like it really is a goal of yours to make sure that pets can stay with families. So if you are facing financial issues, that doesn't necessarily mean that your only option is surrendering your pet. Absolutely. Yeah, we want to help help folks help folks keep their pets as much as possible. You know, I know it, any of us can fall on a difficult financial situation at any time. So if we can if we can keep that pet with their owner, not only is it better for the pet, but it's better for the person, you know, keeping those families together is so important. And um, I think majority of our owner surrenders, if not pretty much all of them, you know, all of them say, I don't want to give up my pet. I'm just kind of being forced to for this, that, and the other reason, you know, cause life happens, right? So if we can help help folks keep their, keep their families together, that's, that's the ultimate goal. 